ירושלים. 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 The best hummus in Yerushalayim. Recently, I was invited to visit Israel to learn about food and health and wellness in the region. So, I packed up my bag and grabbed my journal and camera and traveled across the globe to a place I've heard so much about, but know even less. My objective? Discover what wellness means in another part of the world. Here's part one of my adventure. So, we're going up to the room. Okay. This is a penthouse suite? Uh, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where all the magic is going to happen. Right here. Wow. How do you say it? It's Michal. Michal. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get this down right now. Michal. Right? Yes. It's like Michal. It's like Michal. But you're doing a ha. A ha sound. Michal. What are we eating tonight? Uh, we're going to this uh, chef vegan restaurant. Say vegan? Vegan. Vegan. Chef. Chef vegan. Chef vegan. Chef vegan. Is it? Don't it's be so it. No, no, no. I'm excited about flying 20 hours and eating my first vegan meal. <laughs> First time catching the cab in Tel Aviv. I will, I think. Shalom, homie. Is there a seatbelt law? Uh, yes. Okay. How do you say thank you? Thank, thank you, in, you Hebrew. in Hebrew. In Hebrew? To da rabah. To all that? To da rabah. It's to da thank you rabah. very much. To da rabah. Spasiba Balshoya. Okay, to da rabah. All right, we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. First thing I noticed was the decor. It was like a scene out of a new James Bond movie. Old and worn, but overall sexy. Fresh ingredients lined the countertops and the open kitchen was inviting and warm. And then, as if upon cue, food began to flow from the kitchen. I guess you're probably really, really hungry. So I'm going to order you a few stuff and then I will come to sit with you, okay? Twice fried taters with soy mayo, caprese salad, Eggplant stew on butter-like toasted bread. A cauliflower gandhi, too beautiful to eat. And oysters made from mushrooms, which upon first bite, made you forget you were eating plants. We just became vegan recently. Yeah, five years ago. My luscious vegan food. Okay, uh, okay. Not salad. Not salad. <laughs> Is vegan food always healthy? Well, plants is healthy for your soul. And there it is. Vegan food is healthy for your soul. What a fitting description for my first Israeli vegan meal. Delicious, luscious plant food. It was good. How bad was it? It wasn't bad at all. It was banging. See, I like vegan food. I just didn't know if I was going to be able to like it after traveling 20 plus hours. Yes. Slept very well. Uh -huh. Day one, and I'm running a little bit behind. Overslept Why? a little bit on <laughs> CP time. But they forgive me. and a half um, bus ride. We just um, got here to Jerusalem and I gotta say, it's breathtaking. Take a look. From here, there's a hush to the bustling city below. A place with so much religious influence and history, yet marred by so much conflict. A complexity as deep as the layers it is built upon. What's interesting about Jerusalem is a huge city and three major religions. So in Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. You know, even as I'm talking about religion, you see the sun kind of peeking out and shining upon my face. And no, I'm not going to be superstitious and think there has something to do with it. But you just can't help but think that. Think that anyway, just because of the way that you feel being in this incredible city. Getting my steps and cardio in for the day, as I mentioned this morning. We're heading right now into the original city, David. This is the... I'm pretty sure this is the original wall. Streets are paved with stone. The imperfections and cracks tell a story of a time long ago, yet not forgotten. It's a modern metropolis where locals brush right by as you gaze in wonderment at what to them is now largely mundane. As you enter the gates, you're greeted with friendly faces and warm bread, as if to say, welcome to my home. This is dates, the, this is date bread. Sweet. So, the sweet bread. I guess this part is the dates. I'm not sure, here we go. Hey, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it is good. It it's got it's me. yellowish. Why is it yellowish? Is that, you Turmeric? tell me. Turmeric? This, it doesn't taste like well. Is it chocolate? Um, no, no, it's, it's date. dates. Oh. Actually, it tastes so this very nice. The top part right there is the date part. That top part. Alright, it's good. <laughs> Thank you, Jerusalem. I need some coffee. <laughs> it's, this, this bread tastes very holy. Jesus himself ate this bread. It's inside. I have the manicure just for the. Just so you got the, uh, this is, uh, and this is. Alright, guys, here it is. This is that top. How you spell it? Z A T A A R. Z Z Z T A R. Tastes like pizza. Are we gonna come back through here? Uh, what? Oh, chick. As we get closer to the church, you can actually smell the incense burning. This is exactly, this is well, the most second visited spot here in the Holland as well, just because it's where they believe that Christ was actually crucified um, and where um, his body is buried. So we're actually gonna go inside of the church right now. Part of my health has been spiritual, my faith. So my eagerness turned to anxiety because what I had come to believe was now right in front of me. I've dreamt about what the tomb would look like, and now I had the chance to see for myself. The ceiling above the tomb was painted in the Stations of the Cross, which is a series of images that depict Jesus Christ leading up to his crucifixion. Even though the church is still being renovated, I had expected to see something more ornate. The atmosphere was fascinating, yet simple and humble. So we're all waiting in line right now to go and move before the tomb. So as you can see, people right now praying and kneeling. My turn here. With this right here, this is the walk of anointment or whatnot. This is where they laid Jesus' body after he was crucified. So that's why you see people kneeling and praying on um, that. Because it's believed that right up under that is the actual piece of stone that they, that they use. נברך לבריאות, למזל, ברכה, הצלחה, פרנסה ורפואה, לזיווג טוב, זוגיות טובה, נזכה להקים בית נאמן באמריקה, וכן יהי רצון ונאמר אמן. 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 something that you wish for, you're hoping for, or you're praying for, and to stuff it into the wall. It can be anything in the world that you want. I've written down something here, and I'm going to stuff it into the wall. You can hear people praying on the wall. I'm just going to turn this way. And you hear their prayers, you hear people praying, and people crying. And this is also interesting is that on this side of the wall, you can see this massive amount of space right now. It's all men. It's all men. Um, men and women enter the wall from two separate areas. From this side is the left side for the men, and on the right side is the women's side. The women's side is significantly small. This is the one place where you kind of feel like a truly a part of the entire experience here, this religious experience, because you get to leave something here. What type of food is this restaurant? In English? Sure. Oh, yes, please. In English. Turkish, Kurdish, Turkish. Yeah, yeah, and Iraqi food. Okay. This is the influence of this restaurant. That's beautiful. This is the best hummus. Hummus? Hummus. 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 It's the best. Hummus. You're making fun of me. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Like that? More or less. You need to use the white one. Jerusalem. 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 This is like fried chickpeas and a mashed like gravy. Just soak it. Who's gonna watch this? 
Straight up cinnamon sauce. It's a Greek. It's a Greek. Okay. This is a sour. This right here. This right here. But we have the absolute. I want my pictures. And these look good. And the hat. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. That was good. It's like candy. They're doing my. Hi, Luca. Great me. Here we go. Are you serious? We are in New Jerusalem right now and we're in the middle of like the market area and so I've heard a lot of cool things about it so I'm excited about checking it out. Locals call the market the center of the city and since food brings us together I think that's appropriate. There was not one package or process item in sight. Everything was fresh, natural and open. The smell of fresh spices made me wonder what delicious masterpieces they would eventually create. And I wanted to try them all. Bread so fresh and sweet, even the bees were feasting. People were happy and oh, oh yeah. Friendly hellos and beautiful faces. I love this place. Things like this that are very natural, just dried fruit. And just the plain nuts and the almonds. And then the walnuts. This is what they use to make the long journey. Yes. From Yemen. We don't have to cook anything, it's just you just eat them raw. And so that's the reason why it's lasting energy. And then you don't have to prepare them at all, you don't have to cook them, you don't have to boil them, nothing. So this is why you think it's the perfect meal, the perfect snack. As daylight fell, storefronts closed and nightlife began. I stopped by Beer Bazaar to sample locally brewed beers and tasty treats. So we're here at this beautiful farm, um, learning more about the Farm the Table and the slow food movement here in Israel. A lot of the people that work here on the um, farm are actually from the uh, from the youth. A lot of them come from places, come from homes where they may need a little bit more assistance, a little bit more help and support. And so this farm actually provides that opportunity for them. I want wild, it's not like something. Lemon. Mm -hmm. This is the good thing, this is the good part about them. I'm learning. To be certified organic, how expensive is it? It's uh, also expensive and it's also something that we are building on trust with our customers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three women, no agricultural education or knowledge, working with the hardest youth. And we just began because the whole idea is just to be human being. For them this is a workplace. They get salaries, they sign on a contract, they come to work. After touring the farm, we were greeted with the true farm the table meal courtesy of Chef Sabina. It looked like the setup for a Pinterest photo. Everything was fresh and vibrant and complemented the farmhouse experience. So much eye candy. Roasted and mashed eggplant with seeds, olive oil, and fresh herbs. Kale cake, which was savory frica wrapped in steamed kale. Sweet potatoes with tahini, lentils, and basil. Mashed potatoes with feta, onions, and herbs. Sweet potato puree with tahini topped with almonds and herbs. It was a mini feast reminiscent of Thanksgiving, completely vegetarian and altogether satisfying. To finish, Chef Sabina made this Middle Eastern inspired dessert called kanafa, made with rose water, butter, cream, sugar, and rice noodles, topped all off with crushed pistachios for color, taste, and texture. Probably the most flavorful thing I've had since I've been here. Mm -hmm. there you go. This is everything that's good in the world but bad for your body right here in this plate. It's good. It's so good. <laughs> Welcome to Jaffa. Of all the things I've heard about Israel, the nightlife has been at the top. Tucked away in back alleys on old, narrow cobblestone streets of this ancient port city, you'll find a new scene where the color is black and the dress code is sexy. I felt out of place in my nice blue button down. So, part of it is in Hebrew. 
Hebrew course in English. My drink of twist has always been whiskey. And just this once I was adventurous by ordering a specialty drink, but made with whiskey. Buddha. Lachaim, meaning to life. A toast to the food that nourishes us, to the experiences that connect us, and to the people that enrich us. It's been three days and I've yet to scratch the surface of this mysterious place. And I'll admit, my jet lag hasn't helped much either. I'm surviving off caffeine and my own curiosity. And I'm energized by my new recreational vegan diet. My belly is full, but I've got room for more. I look forward to what the next few days will bring. Eyes wide open.